This new segment is brought to you by Greg Dan for County Commissioner District 3, protecting our rural life and water. Paid for by a citizen to elect Greg Dan. Recently, the Disabled American Veterans held a convention. Several local veterans have accepted prominent positions in the organization representing our area. We have representation as first junior vice, that's Bill Dolan. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's Riddell Samuel. He is senior vice commander at the state level. Riddell Samuel, she's first junior vice state level, and Terry Janke. Yeah is second junior vice at state level, and that's on the disabled American veteran side. Mm -hmm. At the auxiliary side, we have Beverly Baker, who's our commander out here for our unit. Mm -hmm. She is representing chapter 15 as the uh, senior vice commander. Alan Schwartz is representing as first junior vice. And then for the Department of Nevada auxiliary, we have Patty Scheuermann, who is our Excuse me. <clears throat> she is our chaplain. Wow. So this means a lot for us, doesn't it? And Chapter 15 is like the smallest uh, uh, chapter in the state of Nevada, right? That is correct. We have the smallest amount of members, but we accomplish the biggest amount of success stories. That's because we are so active, right? We are active, and we've got a wonderful community. I, this community, you just go out and you feel the love. I love it here. <laughs> It's very true. Um, I, I even had some comments this morning at uh, the VFW Food Drive about how people come out for the veterans. They really do. They really appreciate their veterans. They really appreciate the service. And you guys are so active in so many things in the community. But we also had two small businesses that were even acknowledged in the, in the um, convention, too. Yes, that's true. Um, the GI USA store, they got recognized as Small Business Employer of the Year through the DAV. And we had Home Depot as large business employer. And the support from both of these organizations has been fantastic. So this means we got so many representatives right now um, for the state of Nevada. What is that going to do for the chapter? It's going to put us out on the mark as, you know, being successful and as a place to go if you need help. We're finding now that a lot of people, they'll go and do a search and our chapter comes up first and foremost as far as the one to talk to. The Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro should be postponed or moved in the name of public health due to the widening Zika outbreak in Brazil. More than 100 prominent doctors and professors said today in an open letter to the World Health Organization. The letter shows a growing gap within the medical field on what to do about the games. They are concerned about the impact on public health. The World Health Organization had no immediate reaction to Friday's letter. The International Olympic Committee has said it has no plans to cancel or postpone the games. A 49-year-old Pennsylvania woman showed the presence of a rare kind of E. coli infection, the first known case of its kind in the United States. It's a superbug that is resistant to many antibiotics, even colistin, which doctors use as a last resort when other antibiotics fail. There is no indication of how the bacteria got into the woman's system. She has not traveled outside the United States within the past five months. The woman was treated and released and has had no other medical problems related to the bacteria. The CDC continues to investigate. Each year in the United States, at least 2 million people become infected with other kinds of bacteria that can't be beaten with most antibiotics. And at least 23,000 people die each year as a result of those infections. Well, it's the 10th year for the High Desert Shorts Film Festival. They switched things up a bit this year. Here's Linda Cass and Rodney Camacho with more information. We've got uh, two locations. We've grown that much. Uh, the feature films, how many feature films do we have? We'll be showing 10 feature films at Lakeside Casino. Wow, fantastic. All weekend long? The feature films will be Friday and Saturday starting at 1 p.m. Last showing is at 9, both Friday and Saturday. And of course, short movies all, all, week, all weekend long. 
Right. And then you have the awards on Sunday, right? Yes, we do. Awards on Sunday at uh, 6 o'clock. And then after that, we have our after party, our rap party, and we just celebrate and crash. <laughs> films from all over the world, right? Oh, yes. We got films from uh, 12 countries, I believe it was, all the way from Iran to Russia. So. We're here in the um, Nugget Event Center, but of course, you like you said, Lakeside too as well. So people can buy an all-day ticket for all of these films. Can they still do that? Yeah. No, we cut that off as of today because I, what happens is when today is over, then the the pass isn't as it, it loses value. its value. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but the price is we've kept it the same for the entire ten years, three dollars per session. So that's fantastic. So they can come in, and you have, you have a schedule, don't you? So yes, that people can just buy that whole session, like drama, comedies. Yes. Yes, right. exactly. It'll be a, for the short films, it is a block of films, about five to seven films, three dollars, or one feature film for three dollars. What a good deal. Yes. And I have to remember to, uh, we've got the music program. It's a multimedia music of uh, Italian violinist that Foreign Parts Council has brought in. And that will be Saturday at 8 p.m. at the Nye Communities Coalition. And that's tw 1020 East Wilson. People can go and see that. It's uh, Students are free. $10 yes, with the, an adult paid admission. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Wonderful. Yes. So for more information, they can go on the web. Yes, hdiff.net. All right. Come on by. What time does the film start? It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here. Uh, we've got the Saturday free family films. I want to make sure that everybody knows the uh, uh, animation and family films start at 9.30 in the morning and go th uh, through... For about an hour. Yeah. An hour. There's, like there's actually five films, three animations and two drama. And the mm -hmm. drama, I, I guarantee you don't want to miss. Yeah. And those short films will be shown at the Prump Nugget. The full-length feature films will be at Lakeside, including the feature film Do Not Disturb, which is made locally here. James Horton's film from Preferred RV and our own Jason Koblenz helped edit it. And that's at 7 p.m. on Saturday night. A talented musician from New Orleans participated in the annual Bluegrass Festival, courtesy of County Commissioner Dan Schinhofen. <laughs> I busk in New Orleans and uh, Dan came out and he was uh, just a tourist and he said come on out to Pahrump for the Bluegrass Festival and I did. You're talking about our Nye County Commissioner Dan Schinhoff. Yes I am. And so you came out and you also got a gig in Vegas now too? Yeah I'm playing at Sand Dollar tomorrow at 10 p.m. So tell me about your music. Well it's a mixture of um, blues, Delta blues and uh, you know uh, various types of blues, older stuff, 20s and 30s but uh Something. How long have you been playing? I've been playing this type of stuff for about three years, but all the other 14. 14? You're originally from Brooklyn? No, uh, outside of Buffalo, Lockport. Oh, uh, okay, outside of Buffalo. Why did you decide to move to New Orleans? Uh, I just wanted to move somewhere else for a little while. Music? Yep. How do you like in Nevada? Have you been here before? This is my first time. I like it. I like it out here. How do you like Pahrump? I like Pahrump. It's uh, beautiful yeah. mountains and what have you. So are you having fun watching the other musicians? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Do you have any releases? Um... I got something that I'm going to record in uh, Tennessee uh, sometime this year. And so uh, um, you have some Facebook or YouTube pages? or yeah, you, um, uh, my Facebook band camp, um, YouTube is uh, Daniel, B-E-A-U-D-O-I-N, music. We'll be back in just a moment with more news.